One final honoree is something of a regular here at the White House. I was telling them we need to give them a room. <laughs> the blue room, the red room, and the Yo-Yo Ma room. <laughs> we keep inviting him, and for some reason, he keeps on coming back. <laughs> when Yo-Yo Ma took his first cello lesson, there wasn't a chair short enough for him, so he sat on three phone books instead. By the age of four, he was learning the box suites. At age seven, he was performing for President Kennedy in this room. Today, he has 16 Grammys and is considered one of the greatest classical musicians alive. But maybe the most amazing thing about Yo-Yo Ma is that everybody likes him. <laughs> You've got to give me some tips. <laughs> it's uh, remarkable. In a profession known for, let's face it, some temperament among its stars, uh, Yo-Yo is a little different. He named one of his 300-year-old th cellos Petunia. He's a big hugger. Uh, for every question you ask him, he asks you two in return. He's been named one of People Magazine's sexiest men alive. <laughs> He's appeared on Sesame Street. I thought about it, asking him to go talk to Congress. <laughs> um, and yet, somehow, he's also found the time to become one of the most innovative and versatile musicians in the world. Uh, Yo-Yo likes to say that his goal is to take listeners on a trip with him and make a lasting connection. His sense of curiosity has driven him to experiment from everything from the Argentine tango to Chinese folk music. Uh, and he's brought musicians from around the world together with the sheer force of his personality. As he says, if I know what music you love and you know what music I love, we start out having a better conversation. The great Pablo Casals once described himself as a human being first, a musician second, and a cellist third. Uh, there is no doubt that Yo-Yo Ma is a great musician and a great cellist, but tonight we also honor him because he is a great human being. Thank you, Yo-Yo Ma.